23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. Good evening, I'm Keely Van Middendorp. Here's what's making headlines from across the county. Deputies are looking further into the death of a baby in East Bakersfield over the weekend. Deputies were called to the area of Water Street just off Columbus and Alta Vista Drive early Sunday morning. According to KCSO, they found an infant who was unresponsive and not breathing. Officials say that baby was pronounced dead at a local hospital. Detectives are now investigating how that child died and are asking anyone who, have, who has information to call KCSO at 8 Six one thirty one ten. If you wish to remain anonymous, call the secret witness line. That number listed there on your screen. With COVID-19 cases continuing to rise in Kern County, we're seeing levels that we haven't seen in weeks. According to Kern County Public Health, 207 new cases were reported today, bringing that total closer to 112,000 infections since the pandemic started. No new Delta cases were announced. That number remains at six today. As far as deaths, two more were reported. That number now stands at 1,416. Turning now to the wildfires burning all across our state, we start with the new information we're learning about the possible cause of the Dixie Fire. The Pacific Gas and Electric Company says its equipment was possibly involved in the start of the 30,000 acre blaze. According to an incident report released on Sunday, a PG&E employee reported on July 13th seeing what looked like a blown fuse at some equipment after an outage. The worker found a tree leaning into a conductor. A fire was also on the ground near the tree. Both the time and location match Cal Fire's information about when and where the Dixie Fire started. At last check, that Dixie Fire is 15% contained. Alex. And here's a look at your weather headlines. Most thunderstorm activity over this year should be ending by sunset tonight, but we do have some monsoonal moisture that will be moving into our area, possibly bringing uh, the mountain and desert areas some thunderstorms through this weekend. So, of course, we'll keep tracking that only about a 10% of seeing some rain as we get closer to the weekend. So here's a look at your seven day forecast 102 for tomorrow. Saturday seeing 99, a little bit of humidity moving in on Sunday seeing 98, Monday seeing 98 as well. And then a quick check of your mountain seven day forecast. The Lake Isabella seeing 99 for Tuesday to hatch. We 91 Fraser Park at 89 Keeley. And that's your latest news and weather update for the latest update anytime. Be sure to head to our website, turn to 23.com.